Hi, I'm Lauren, and this is a day in my life without Wi-Fi. For the past six years, my family and I have been living without Wi-Fi. And sure, we've had to make some sacrifices, but ultimately the benefits we experience far outweigh the negatives. Some have asked me, but Wi-Fi is everywhere. What do you do when you leave your house? To them, my answer is simple. I don't. Besides, who even needs modern technology? I do, which is why, thankfully, I can still live a totally normal life without Wi-Fi. Come on, I'll show you how. Oh, and yes, my family actually did get rid of our Wi-Fi six years ago. And if you want to know why, you can check this video out. All right, come on, let's go. I normally wake up with my alarm between 5.30 and 6.30, and my alarm is always placed on airplane mode a few meters away from my bed. I then proceed to do the normal things one does in the morning, eat breakfast, clean my teeth, get dressed, brush my hair, and make my bed. And somehow I managed to do this all without my phone. I don't need the outside world infiltrating the start of my brand new day. So here I am ready to start my day. I turn my phone off airplane mode and let the outside world in. Today will be filled with emails, reading scripts, creating budgets and editing. Sometimes I'll work from home, but I often like starting my day by getting out of the house and just going to a cafe. It took me a while to find a cafe that I was comfortable working at, and I really love this one. And while it doesn't have Wi-Fi, there are a lot of signals nearby and most people just hotspot their phones. But I actually like disconnecting from the internet. I come to the cafe with a list of things that I need to do and I leave that cafe with them completed. This way I make sure I'm getting my priorities done so then I can focus on what other people need from me during the rest of the day. I normally get a little salad from here just to hold me over until lunch and then I'll pack up and head home. Then it's lunchtime and while I'm out of my workflow, I'll take a break from my computer and either just sit while I eat or do a spot of reading. By about one o'clock, I'm ready to get back into work. And here's my secret. See these things? They're natural, found in the wild, and are known as ethernet cords. That's how we get our internet. And they're so easy to use. All you do is plug it into your wall and then into your computer. Wow, that is easy. And so I'll work for a few more hours. See, I can be a normal person. At around 4 or 5, I'll pack up for the day and either head to the gym or rock climbing. I'll put my phone back on aeroplane mode so I'm not distracted while I'm there, because exercise is my special time where I can just zone out and I love it. Once that's done, I'll head home, have a shower and do a bit more work before dinner if I feel like it. But after dinner, this is where I just like to stop and do whatever I want. It's my free time. My phone is off aeroplane mode and I do whatever I feel like. Sometimes I'm on Stan, Netflix, YouTube, reading, or just having a chat with whoever's nearby. Then at around 9 p.m., I'll close my computer, say goodnight, and head to bed. In bed, I'll put my phone back on aeroplane mode, and I like to use the app 94% to just really help me wind down, as sometimes I can struggle to shut my brain off after the day. I'll then set my alarm, put it away from my bed, and close my eyes. Living without Wi-Fi may not be for everyone, but I hope this video has shown you that it isn't actually as hard or as crazy as you may think. And it definitely took me a while to get used to, but I genuinely love not having it and I really do not feel like I'm missing out on anything. Thank you so much for watching. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really, really can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.